So, Steve Rao here, Bass Hang, Dave McLaren, Mr. GNL BBE, right here. He brought this out and didn't expect me to, um, to really be emotional about it, but I am. <laughs> what the heck, dude? I'm serious. This is, th I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, a little bit speechless by this. What is this? Well, this is uh, made in 1975, and this 75. is one of the um, prototypes for the uh, Music Man Stingray bass. So this is, a lot of people aren't gonna know, but um, the Music Man instruments, the guitars and basses, were designed here at what was CLF Research, Clarence Leo Funder Research. Um, in Fullerton, that's in where Fullerton. we are. Yeah, we're, in we're sitting here, yeah. Which now is our g &L factory. But uh, these were designed and manufactured here and then sold to Music Man. So okay. Music Man was the customer for these instruments. Okay. Um, so this is a 1975 prototype. Um, Kind of cool that you could see the uh, headstock artwork. This is hand painted. My yeah. my guess is George Fullerton did it because he was a painter. Super hand painted. Wow, dude. So, and you can see a couple other things that people kind of trip out on is, if you see like this, he was still thinking about using a split coil pickup mm -hmm. because a lot of the stuff that he was working on in the late '60s. Look at the Fender guitars that he was into those sure. split single coil pickups. Sure. So, uh, he would call this split thing, but humbucking a percussive humbucker. As opposed to, you know, a conventional, you know, big humbucker, yeah. you know. I mean, it's a big slip. It is big, pickup, and you got the, right? uh, the big, big Alco slugs in there, and you can see where he was going, the direction sure. of that. That's where the Music Man pickup would be. Right, right, Two right, coils, right. big humbucker. You can humbucker. see the pre-production bridge. This is still prototype. There's no Music Man logo in the thing. Wow. So it's, uh, Zoom it's kind of an oddity there. No, this thing, and you didn't... <laughs> What's that? You didn't think I'd be like, wait a second, yeah. hold hold everything. This yeah. is seriously just amazing, man. One look at the, the back. That, the thing I like to connect the dots a bit on uh -huh. is, uh, if we look at this, this is from about 1969, and this is a pickup array, and his concept for this was to have this big but humbucking pickup, and this would have been mounted kind of back here, so he was going in this direction where he Whoa. wanted a big beefy kind of a mm -hmm. you know funky Magnets. sound yeah yeah sure um, but it was moved down toward the bridge so even though this is 1975 the cool thing about looking at stuff in this lab is you mm -hmm. can start to see things that connect the dots sure absolutely see, so apart from wow. uh, names on headstocks mm -hmm. all these evolution of things occurred in his mind wow that's what so this humbucker this is going to this is just a mock up Right, right. We have a picture of it wow. actually installed on one of these uh, breadboard <clears throat> instruments. You know, those big rectangular things. That you're testing. That's crazy. Yeah. So, and this, so this bridge was obviously prototype with right. the um, what's the left word. of the mute. What's left of the mutes? Yeah, they're kind of peeling. But man, that is amazing. And is this an ash body? Do we know? Uh, Assuming I don't, maybe. Who knows? You know, I don't yeah. recall what that is. Wow. But that's the original finish. Yeah, the prototypes the, were in this kind of harvest gold, real 70s color. Yeah, yeah, I dig it, man. It strings through the body. Yeah, so then there's a battery in there, but God knows what kind of shape it's <laughs> in after 43 years. We just tuned it up for the first time in a long time. And I know. It's, and it's to I, pitch, and it, of course, this thing is a workhorse, man. Oh my God, Yeah, but I'm hoping you, Here's Steve, here's the guy who broke the prototype. <laughs> Dude, I, it's not gonna break. Come on, this thing's robust. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah, but, that is, yeah, but it's, <clears throat> imagine you know being wake, waking up after forty something years, and then wow. you're supposed to do something, exercise. She is so happy awake now. We need to go <laughs> plug this thing in. We need to play it. So, dude, thank yeah. you so much for that. So this is 1975 prototype music right, band stinger. Right, right. So I think all the woodwork wow. would have been done by Lloyd Tuning, who was going to be the factory manager. Okay. Uh, in the CLF Research factory. Wow. Um, I know it was put together by George because George oh. put his initials in the pocket. Really? 1975. Stop it. You're making, you're, you're killing me, man. This thing's amazing. And the neck, <clears throat> so there is, there's some prototypes here. Check this out. Or what would these be called? These are like kind of, uh, you, yeah. These were, well, like for example, that guy, that that, this was one of the things that he would call a breadboard instrument. So these, would, what he would do is he would use these to quickly test pickup and pick up positioning. Sure. You know, so it was like a real rough thing. So, and in this case, this guy's been working here a long time because you can see uh, Fender Bridge, mm -hmm. Music Man, yeah, Gino MFDs. So, well, for <laughs> this me, guy is, this guy's touched all of his brands. I have been here numerous times, and this is the neck for me that when I 
play it, that's probably one of the best feeling necks I've ever played. And it feels like this, and it feels like this, which is this the was new... The, this was the CLF Research neck profile, so that you would have found on the Music Man, so they were wow. the GNLs. So we will have some stuff on CLF Research. Clarence Leo Fender. Clarence More Leo to come. <laughs> More to come soon. So, cool. Right. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. And that is Prototype Music Man Stingray that I'm very, very incredibly excited about. Wow, thanks for sharing it, man. Hey, no problem, glad you dig it. Cool. So I'm playing the prototype 1975 Music Man Stingray with this badass split coil <laughs> pickup so the electronics are master volume and basically cut only preamp treble and bass treble and bass yeah and it has a 9 volt battery so that's everything flat and it's hot as heck so here it is with it cut and then the treble if I boost it it's very reminiscent of that Stingray preamp, that really hyped treble side. And then the bass. So it's almost like it's it's just really amazingly aggressive. <laughs> so the way I was playing it, we're with the bass and treble knobs all the way down. So if I boost them, and I say boost, and it's, it's just cut not, only. It's cut only, but getting it in my brain is strange because cut only, here it is with both of them all the way up. So that's, woo, that's bright. So here's the treble all the way down. And then here's bass all the way down. me it almost sounds better with those knobs all the way down with maybe if you need a little bass it's just amazingly crazy powerful yeah and it, and for me for my ears it's very reminiscent of what this is is a music man stingray so I just kind of wanted to play a little bit. So I'll play a little more with everything cut except the bass knob, or not cut, the treble all the way down and the bass knob just a little bit up, so. very very old old flat wounds but man this is just an amazing bass oh and somebody was saying that they thought the prototypes were natural but no they're all the all the uh, and Dave who's filming can help me out all the prototypes were this color correct solid all, all that pre-production stuff that led to the final stuff is this harvest gold color harvest gold color all the pre-production so it's this harvest gold color so yeah I just thought I'd play a little bit of this badass bass and I'm I'm kind of in love with it. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So